and they had a farm to school, farm to see to school uh, meeting, and he's very involved in that. And I didn't know um, Tiffany Atkinson, you may know her, Brenda, um, is the food service manager at the middle school, the North School, and there's only like 110 kids. So she is trying out all kinds of funky recipes on them with local ingredients sourced from local farmers. So. Oh. Very cool. It's very cool. Yeah, it's very cool. So anyway, I don't know if I know who that is. Um, she, I know her from a fishing derby, and she <laughs> works at Two Ninety Maine usually, but at, as a waitress oh. sometimes. But I didn't know that she was doing that for the last couple of years. Oh. Huh. Anyway, Jimmy's back. Yay! Hello, Jimmy and Cecilia. Welcome. And Amanda, welcome. I guess I should get my uh, flyer. I know. Um, I started to make a flyer for the holiday meals, and I only have three on here, which is kind of surprising to me. So I'm going to wait and see. Give everybody a few more minutes. Has anybody come up with etiquette on what to do while you're waiting for a Zoom call? Is there like a manual that tells people? Do you play music? Do you? I haven't figured it out. Oh, there's Carl. Hi, Carl. Welcome. Hey. I guess I'm going to put this up. I'm going to share my screen. Let's see if I can get this to go. Oh, that's way too big. Uh, and let's make that smaller. All right, I'm just going to share that so people, there you go. You don't have to look at my face. So if you have anything to add to that, please shoot me an email. If you're doing anything special for, I'm going to do a Thanksgiving and then we'll do a Christmas one or a winter holiday. Uh, Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, whatever you would like to celebrate in the dregs of winter. Um, so, okay. So, so, well, I guess I will stop this share. Um, Amanda, you can't see that, can you? Amanda Ouellette. So it just says Daddy O's in Oxford, 1570 Main Street near Ocean State Job Lot is serving a sit-down, dine-in, free Thanksgiving dinner from 11 to 3. Yeah, I can see that on my on my. Oh, side. you can see it? Okay, yeah. we just can't see you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, I'm anonymous. It's not. <laughs> Did you win the Powerball and we didn't know? <laughs> <laughs> is that why you're staying anonymous? If only. <laughs> if only. Okay, well, it is 3.02, and so let's get started. Um, I actually do not see any pantry managers on here, which is very interesting, um, and that's kind of a bummer, um, except for Carl. Carl is a pantry manager, <laughs> but he has so many hats, but so I don't think of you as a pantry manager. Um but I did want to um, kind of bring up the whole holidays and what people are doing. As you can see, I've got three meals that are now in person sit down. So there's that's great news and a little worrisome news. Uh, COVID is still very prevalent. And if it's not COVID, it's something else. There's um, I have not been into a classroom this year, maybe one or two that have had the full number of kids in the class. Hmm. Um, they are out sick because they don't have any immunities. <laughs> um, and so, and COVID is still very prevalent. So I have three meals in Norway on, on Thanksgiving day. If you know of any in any other communities up in Bethel or Rumford, um, let me know and I will add this. We're gonna, we wanna get this shared out as soon as possible. So I was kind of hoping that we would have some other people come on and tell me if they have other names. So um, anyway, um, 
Does anybody want to share anything? Is anybody new? Maybe Christina, would you like to share who you are? You might be new to a lot of people here. Sure. So I am Christina. I'm starting and I've started a new position taking over Celia's um, position working on the community health implementation plan for the Rumford Hospital and also the Bridgeton Hospital. But um, yeah, so you'll be seeing me on these meetings because part of that plan is to just stay involved with discussions around food access in the area. So it's nice to meet all of you. That's great. I haven't met you yet. <laughs> Well, that's great. You can be our connection up there. So let us know if you if you have here any meals or if anybody's doing anything um, special that people who are looking for food during the holidays can um, can reach and access. That would be great. Um, and Christina, I'm sure Cecilia's told you, but I do the same thing at Western Main Health. Or at least that's one of the things I do. So don't hesitate to reach out if you need any support. Thank you. Awesome. And Brenda, would you like to share who you are? You haven't been on in a while. Uh, I think I know everybody on here. I, I'm Brenda Melhus. I am uh, part of the Norway Downtown uh, organization, and uh, I'm also a business owner on Main Street. I know Norway, co-own Norway Brewing. And uh, I'm, I'm on just as a representative of Norway downtown to kind of see what's going on. I've had a very busy uh, year this year with two new grandkids. So um, yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm on Zoom for the day anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Um, well, does anybody have any news or anything they would like to share? I was kind of hoping um, Amy Mailman said she was going to come on and I was she, she was going to talk about her new position, but I don't see her yet. Anybody have anything? We did get word. Um, I, I'm Jimmy and with a TFAP in case you're not familiar. Um, we did get word from USDA about some extra funding sources. So our, our general stock of food in the program, it's like, uh, it used to just be like outrageous surplus and now it's kind of more normal. Um, and to the point where we're like, oh, like it's, it's looking a little lower than we'd like. And then, uh, you know, there's still a good bit of food in there, but yeah, we're seeing a little bit of decrease in variety. So this little extra boost in funding is actually it's pretty big for us. So um, by the time it'll actually reach food pantries, we're not quite sure, but we'll be able to start placing orders by the end of the month. Um, and it'll be like a big bulk amount as far as uh, time wise. So the delivery periods for this food will be between um, next year and even the year following. So um, oh, wow. it'll go into 2024 a little bit. So, but yeah. Um, like money wise, it's like, it kind of like doubles our funding. So it, it'll allow us to not just get like, um, you know, with our normal entitlement funds to try to get less, like the really basic stuff, but this will allow us to get kind of more of the nicer proteins and whatnot. So um, yeah, definitely looking forward to that. Um, anything else to their program that's worth sharing? I would always like to mention this, but Hunters for the Hungry, um, great program that, yeah, we really do need a processor in your area and we don't have one. So if you guys know any meat processors that process wild game, um, that wanted to get registered somehow with us, we'd be able to pay them. Uh, more or less a hunter would be able to donate a deer or whatever, not whatever, but moose or bear. And, um, more or less the state would be able to pay for those processing fees. So um, yeah, really, really kind of fingers crossed that we can start building that up more um, since it's hunting season and whatnot, but right. yeah. I, I wonder right, if Sam guess... Margolin might be able to do that. I can reach out to him. He is a abattoir, I wanna say. Well, he, has a, he has a mobile- uh, Mobile yeah, processing. Cool. Um, thing and he's doing poultry, but I know he has done deer. I don't know if that's for personal use or not, but I can reach out to him and I've got the link to the website from before. Um, should he go to the website or should he reach out to you if he's interested, Jimmy? 
Um, either way, I would say even reaching out to me would be good just so I can kind of like, it'll be good for them to check the website to have an idea of the program, but ultimately right. like, yeah, I would like to. He needs to talk to you. Okay, cool. I will, I will reach out and see if he's interested and available. Appreciate that. That would be good. Does anybody know anybody else? I can't think of anybody else who does that. So you're going to get good quality proteins like monkfish. Carl had monkfish in the hospital pantry the other day. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool that the, that the, that program is really awesome that they made that uh, that stew. And, um, yeah, that that's that's really cool. That's right. um, it'll be. I don't really know yet, so I don't want to speak to my guesses as to what it could be, but it, it more or less could be anything from our normal catalog. So, um, yeah, really could be anything. Well, I did finally see pistachios, so I'm happy. Oh, it good. finally came down the pipe to Norway. More than just a rumor. <laughs> more than just a rumor that was out there. Um, Amanda, do you you haven't been on in a while? Do you want to do any update on your on Daddio's foundation and what your plans are, you know, currently or in the, or in the near future? Um, sure. Um, one thing we have coming up is our twelve days of Christmas, and that's when we give away um, a lot of the money that we've we've raised throughout the year. Um, I I think this isn't confirmed one hundred percent yet, but I think we're going to do it like we did last year, where um, every day will be a food pantry and another nonprofit. So um, as when I have more details, concrete details, I can let you know. Um, but that's basically ruled out right after Thanksgiving and people can submit um, organizations for us to, to for us to pull from. And then we'll draw one every day. I think it's the 14th that starts of December. Um, yeah. Great. And that's about our only plan. I mean, at long, we've got our Thanksgiving dinner coming up. That also, like people are welcome to come in and get it to take, you know, to take away if they don't feel comfortable coming in, or or if they know somebody that that's, you know, can't get out or whatnot. We encourage them to come take some to them. We're hoping to get a couple of delivery drivers again this year to to make some deliveries locally, and I think that's all I've got. Do you need any volunteers? We are. Let's see here. We're looking fairly decent in that area. Um, you know, we could use one or two more if anybody is interested um, or wants to send somebody our way. Um, I have faith that come, you know, by the day of, we'll, we'll make it work regardless. But yeah, we, we try not to turn anybody away volunteer wise either way. Okay. It's good. That sounds like you're in good shape, though. Yeah. Allison, how is the world at Community Concepts? I'm going to attempt the video, but my internet connection is really like down the drains today. <laughs> Let me know if I'm freezing. You're good so far. Oh, I am. Okay. Everyone else froze for me, but I didn't <laughs> freeze for you. They're just waiting with bated breath to hear what you have to say. <laughs> That's like, okay. Everyone just stay still now. Uh, <laughs> um, at Community Concept uh always lots of things rolling um uh, diaper drive wise i'm trying to get a list together for getting some diapers out when we can carl did you recently receive some more i did thank you you did okay good glad that that all went through that's awesome um if anybody else is in need let us know um and we right now we're trying to scratch our heads and put things together i know that this is outside of the food realm but if anybody knows any good resources for coat closet um to have supplies i think um the pink feather foundation um is a good place i know the town office in norway has been collecting coats um mostly children's coats, I think. Um, but Pink Petter Foundation has, you know, teenagers. It's kind of geared towards the high school. The Pink Feather Foundation. Um, the table also has foods. The table right across from the new uh, physical therapy building, the yellow building. 
They mm -hmm. also have uh, clothing on certain days of the week at the table. Tuesday and Wednesday from one to five is when they give out clothing. On the table, at the table. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we're looking for some adult things as, you know, not just all children. And the pink feather, pink feather, voila. Uh, can you remind me, is that something that only teachers can access from the school? I think it's actually like uh, the kids access it through a counselor or a teacher um, and kind of guide them. Carl, are you, do, do, are you? intimately familiar with the process i'm not i just we had one, a meeting about it yeah I, I think you're right i think it is uh the teacher is the conduit okay all right thank you for all that but i would i would say the table would probably be good a resource for um adult clothing and and possibly at at the town office no, I don't know if the other town offices collect. I would imagine they might with emergency assistance. It's probably a matter of space. Uh, actually, it says the uh, town of Norway got coats from the Salvation Army that they're distributing uh, throughout the community. And you can, uh, the, distrib uh, the last distribution is on Monday, October 31st from 11 to 4. And mm -hmm. it's not just for kids, but it's for families. Oh, so that you said October 31st, so that's passed. Is oh, that yes, it has. Sorry. But maybe there might still be some and and you could find out. All right. Well, I will look into all these places. Thank you for all that information. You're welcome. You guys are quite the collaborative. This is a great place of information. People are in the know here. People are in the know. <laughs> Well, obviously I'm a little behind the timeline, but. <laughs> well, you had some information, that was good. I just blinked and then November's like halfway over. I don't even know how that happened. Yeah, it's kind Ugh. of crazy. Um, Allison, anything else? Anything else I think, going on? I think that's, that's about it that I can come up with at the moment. Does anybody, I don't know if anybody has any questions around, I, I'm from the family service department. I know that there's a lot of other services and community concepts that if anyone's looking for the heat and fuel assistance, I can certainly share contacts if anybody's needing that. Allison, can you shoot that on an email to me and I'll send that out so the pantry managers get that, make sure they get that? Absolutely, I'll do that. In case they they might hear firsthand of people who really need that. All right, I'll make sure that I'll share those resources. Thank you. Thank you. Cecilia, would you like to share today? <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of update. I'm um, mostly here to introduce Christina, but she she did that all on her own and with, with your help. Um, yeah, um, this will be my last meeting here since Christina's taking over. Um, and she'll be giving the updates moving forward. Okay, great. Thank you. We're happy to have her. Um, I don't have a whole lot of updates and news. I, I do want to say that um, Cafe Club has started at Row and is pretty robust right now, and people seem pretty excited. And it starts next week at Paris Elementary School. Um, we still need some more volunteers. We have grade level volunteers, but we would like to get more. So there's more for each grade. So I'm going to put out the call for that. Um, I don't think it's going to happen at Oxford this year. The, the further out we go, the harder it is. Um, I do want to give a shout out. I have to say this to Norway Savings Bank. We have five volunteers from their staff who are doing Cafe Club and only one of them is a parent. So yay for their community spirit so um that is so cool holly i i am really impressed with them mariah martin is a parent and she was a previous cafe club volunteer and she i think anytime she goes to a meeting she talks about it and they're actually going to do a facebook post or some kind of post because she sent me a blurb to check some text about it so so that because about volunteering so i just 
I just want to give a shout out to them as a local business that is really supporting our kids um, and really helping with resilience in lots of ways. So I'm really happy with them. Well, they do they do encourage their staff to volunteer in the community, yep. which is really great. It is really great. And um, if you know anybody, other businesses that do, let me know because we'll put them to work. Um, but I, I don't really have anything else. I was hoping that the pantry managers were gonna come on and talk about what they're doing with Thanksgiving and how they're feeling. I know Carl and I had an interesting discussion. He was looking at his numbers and was surprised that his, uh, the people who are coming increased in the fall um, and were lower in the summer. And I said, oh no, I've realized from this forum that in the summertime, people are not paying for heat. They are not paying for as much electricity. And so they have more money for food and they use the pantries less frequently. Um, and that seemed to be a trend that we found in, in previous calls with the thing. So, but I was just kind of curious how they're doing because the pantries are not as full as they were a year ago. Um, and I think people are still utilizing them. And many of them who used to be doing uh distributions are going back to the meal model, um, which I'm glad to see that some people are doing that because people need their souls fed just as much as their bellies and having a meal with somebody does that. So um, I am glad to see that, but I wanna make sure people are still getting groceries at home. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. So um, I'm gonna let you guys off the hook and go home early if you want um if you think of anything let me know and um we'll try to get more people on here in december and see what they have to say but thank you for all coming i really appreciate it it's great to see everybody thanks holly thank you yeah, thanks for the updates you're welcome bye-bye